Hello everybody, welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX. Uh, we're fighting the final boss now. Are you excited? Get a load of this! Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Oh god, those, those laser sounds are horrifying. Well, he's doing a little shimmy whenever he, uh, whenever he exposes himself to you. Ah! Ah oh, god, it like rings in your ears. <laughs> Very simple, actually. You're not changing up your strategy yet. Yet. <laughs> like, his lasers don't go much higher. So if you just- Fuck! <laughs> if you just hold a jump, you're fine. Oh, now's when I start changing it. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this one's pretty easy. He throws a little spinning top at you. Then you go back and go kaboom! <laughs> Give him a load of this. Oh, oh no, he's blowing everything up. Why would you do that, man? Got one more hit left. Ah, he's not gonna get away with this. <laughs> it's no use. Give up. I like landing right in the middle of it. It's quite nice. Okay, so he pulls one last trick. Cr tries to crash into you. Watch out! He's up to something. There we go. Eggman fucking dies. <laughs> hey, I'll play, <laughs> hey, I'll play with you some other time. Wow. All right. We did it, boys. We beat Sonic. The Sonic campaign, not the whole game yet. We're technically what, one seventh of the way done with the game. But now we have to sit through fucking cutscene and credits. So, that's the bummer. Unless I can just skip it. Don't criticize! I'm just living by my own feelings. <laughs> Well, I won't give it, I won't compromise. <laughs> What's he saying? Is he sticking along? Oh my god! Yeah, he's just he's just muttering to himself. I love how parts of the song were drowned out by the sound effects. Oh, please tell me I can skip this. Can I? Can I skip this? I can't skip it. Uh, well, you know what? That's okay. Uh, so we beat it. We beat the Sonic campaign. Up next we got the- Sorry, I just had to sing along. Don't criticize! <laughs> uh, I love how it's showing you a little, um, a little, uh, pictures from, from your journey in Sonic. There's Windy Valley. I actually really like that level. It's, it's probably my second favorite level in this game. It's just, uh, it's so charming. It's so, like, quaint. It's very peaceful. A casino, I mean, casino is good, too. It's, like, my third favorite level, I'd have to say. Um, just because the Knights pinball table. I'm a huge fan of Knights. Uh, they should make a new Knights game. 
uh, Sega make make a new Knights game and team up with Nintendo. I think Sh uh, Shigeru Miyamoto uh, said uh, he wanted to do a Knights game. If he ever did like did something with Sega, it would be like a Knights game. So uh, they, sh they should do that. They should do that definitely. But oh yeah, uh, the ice cap. Eh, I'm, I'm neutral towards it. But uh, a lot of people fucking worked on this game though. I gotta admit. Um, Apparently not that many people worked on uh, playability of the game, uh, you know, a lot, not many people must have tested it, because, uh, uh, the controls are janky. I went into this, because I hadn't played through this game in full, in like a year, and so I was going into it and I was like, you know what, I, I still love this Sonic game, but I'm going to approach it with an open mind again and really give it a, a critical analysis here as I play through it for this Let's Play, and... As it turns out, the magic, the nostalgia magic that I had as a kid, it's beginning to wear off a little bit. Uh, as you've probably seen so far through this playthrough, um, and we're only at this moment, I think about 13 episodes in, uh, in this recording, I I've already ex like, been frustrated numerous times. Um, there are better Sonic games than this. The main thing for this one was, um, it was the first official 3D Sonic game. It was like the flagship title for the Dreamcast in its day, and it was hugely successful. And it's it's a good game, except on the premise of um of just the playability. The camera angles are janky. The controls are janky. You get hung up on invisible walls or ledges that like shouldn't you shouldn't get hung up on. It's a Sonic game. It's supposed to be going fluid, and you can understand how that's kind of hard to translate from like a 2D sort of side-scrolling perspective to like a 3D because you have to accommodate entirely new mechanics, uh, an entirely new situation there. So I can understand the fact that it isn't easy, but like, eh, it's still not really much of an excuse. I mean, it's just, there, there's a lot of improvement. I, maybe if they ever decided to remaster the Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, uh, I'd be I'd be a fan of that. Sonic Adventure 2 plays a lot better than this, though. I will say that, if I remember correctly, I, the same situation with this one. I haven't given it a full playthrough um, in like even more than a year, in a very long time. Last time I played it was on GameCube, um, but we might, we'll probably play it on the show after this. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, so if if my memory serves correctly, it it played a lot better than this. Um, but this port this port's a pretty solid port. Um, they polished up a couple of things from the GameCube ports, so... I uh, can't really complain too much. Like, the, the only people that really, really enjoy this game are people like me, who kind of grew up with the game a bit. If you're coming at it new, like, in 2016 and 2017 now, you might not like it. But if you're, like, a big Sonic fan, or you've had this game since you were, like, a kid, you know, you enjoy it. But, uh... I went, like, full game reviewer there for a second. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, 2003. I think these ports came out 2010, I believe. I like that graphic, though. I'm gonna screenshot it. There we go. <laughs> I like to screenshot all the Finn graphics. They're very nice. And we got an emblem. Uh, so... <clears throat> looks like we got a little bit of time left for this episode. I guess let's just start the, uh... Tales campaign. At least, uh get through the opening cutscene, the inevitable opening cutscene, whatever it is. So let's play it. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm enjoying this so far. I hope you're enjoying it too. I always encourage you to leave a comment on my videos telling me uh, what you think of it, any recommendations for uh, you know things to do in-game, uh, if you recommend something that I should do on my channel, a game to play, or any improvements I can make to the channel as a whole, because after all, this is about you guys. I want your guys' like viewing experience to be optimal. Let's just play some Tales. Bit similar to Sonic's campaign, except there's a there's a flying mechanic which allows us to access some more items in the field that we couldn't as Sonic, like emblems, little hidden emblems. Everything's working great. Everything's oh, working great. That usually means things are about ahead. to not be great. Err. Oh, yep. There we go. <laughs> uh oh. What's this? <laughs> ah! Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Goddard! No! Oh, no, Chubby! <laughs> oh, there he goes. 
so it just edits in the Twin Towers. Oh god, that's poor taste. <laughs> I don't know, have we made 9-11 jokes on the show yet? Who knows. That's not how plane- it doesn't, it doesn't go at right angles, Tails. Oh my gosh. He has the potential to kill people with this. It's terrifying. What if he, like, crash into people? Oh, hey, it's Sonic. Hey, look at my dick! I feel like, uh, Sonic and Tails. Tails is like a big old, big old crush on, on Sonic. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a Sam and Frodo situation in The Lord of the Rings, you know. Boy, you're lucky I saw you come down. Ah. Uh... So what went wrong, anyway? It's gonna be the same dialogue from the Sonic campaign, because we already saw it. <laughs> yeah, ah! tested on testing a new prototype power supply. And it's not fully compatible yet. Oh, it isn't. That's too bad. You can always borrow my plane, the tornado, if you want. Thanks, Sonic. But if I can make this work, it'll run circles around yours. I'm better than you, Sonic. Power supply. Get a load of this! It's a chaos emerald. No, <laughs> okay. I was lucky to find so they change up the dialogue a little bit, but it's still saying the same shit. I'm not gonna skip it though, because I want this to be like a full game experience. This is kind of like a bit of a walkthrough, you know, as well as an entertainment show. I don't know. I don't know if I'm that entertaining. I can do a funny voice. It's not really a voice; it's a scream. But um, we're gonna pick this up in the next episode of Sonic Adventure DX. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. It helps out a lot. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more daily gaming videos. We'll see you next time. Bye.